I call uh, the Honourable Nikki Wagner. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. I am delighted to take this opportunity to have a call on infrastructure because it is efficient and effective infrastructure that underpins both our economic development and the quality of life for all New Zealanders. The Canterbury earthquakes have taught us just how miserable life can be if you've got broken roads, you don't have a reliable power service, the water system is patchy and you don't have a functioning toilet. The national government has invested heavily into infrastructure, into the roads of national significance, the rollout of ultra-fast broadband, new social housing, fabulous new schools and health facilities. And in Christchurch, we've got all this and more. In fact, our city is getting the biggest infrastructure investment New Zealand has ever seen. Now, I want to talk in terms of horizontal infrastructure, as if we knew that term before the earthquake. SKIRT, which is the stronger Christchurch infrastructure rebuild team, is delivering its rebuild on time, on budget and to specification. The Christchurch roading and the three water systems, the three water networks, that's wastewater, stormwater and potable water, when complete, will be far more resilient and much more cost effective than ever before. And right now, at the 31st of March 2015, across Christchurch, 66% of the roading and the three waters network is complete. 91% of all the work in the central city is complete, and overall, 70% of the whole skirt repair and rebuild is done. And every Cantabrian will be thrilled when we get that finished, although I think we'll feel a bit bereft when we lose all those road cones. Um, now, the public transport infrastructure We'll get a boost when the new bus interchange is completed next month. Although the bus network has been running pretty successfully, the new interchange will be more than just a building because it signals a new start to the way that we deliver public transport in our city. It's intricately connected with the accessible city plan, and that's providing a safer, more concise central roading system and better public transport. And this is infrastructure for all. The needs of pedestrians, the needs of cyclists, the needs of the fully abled, as well as those who aren't, are all accounted for in this plan. Now, the Justice and the Emergency Services Precinct in Christchurch is growing by the day. And when it's complete, it will have 19 courts, accommodation for police and corrections, and an emergency services hub. And that hub is a new way of delivering emergency service. It will include the fire brigade, St John's Ambulance, and a combined emergency call centre it will be state of the art. It's infrastructure that will not only support Christchurch, but it will support Canterbury and also the rest of the South Island during emergency conditions. Christchurch is already benefiting from its hospital rebuild. Both Burwood and Christchurch hospitals are being rebuilt, and that's over $600 million worth of work it's well underway, and it's the biggest hospital project in our country's history. I went to the opening of the new Child Hematology Oncology Centre, and that's fondly known as CHOC, and it is an absolutely magnificent facility which will provide a really good homely environment and real support for young people and their families. And it truly will make a difference during these difficult times in their lives. And while I'm talking about that, I would like to acknowledge um, the work of the Canterbury District Health Board and everyone who works in those hospitals. The logistics of running a hospital during a rebuild are enormously challenging and they affect everyone that works on the site. I know life is difficult for them, but they're getting through it because they're looking forward to the real benefits of a new modern hospital. Finally, 
In terms of the central city, 65,000 square metres of new office space has been completed in the CBD. And every day new businesses are moving into the centre city. Uh, the retail sector is also booming, with retail se sales 30% higher than pre-earthquake. And the infrastructure for nightlife, the bars, the restaurants and the cafes are back. They're back to about 95% of pre-earthquake levels. The national government yeah. understands that resilient and modern infrastructure Mr. I'm sorry, members, but the time has come for me to report progress to the House. Members, the House is resumed. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Speaker, the committee has considered the appropriation. 2013-14 confirmation validation bill and reports progress. Mr Speaker, I move the report be adopted. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no, the ayes have it. The bill is set down for further consideration and committee next sitting day. And the House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow. Good evening, members. Um.